I think um, for me, I, I know the project that got me involved. It was fifth grade band in elementary school. So I remember in fourth grade, we were sitting in there, and they handed out a, a paper like, you're going to be in the band. What would you like to play? And, like, I don't remember choosing to be in band. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> but I remember getting the paper that asked me what instrument I was. And as I was looking at this paper, a, a picture flashed in my mind of the, the fifth grade band that I saw before and the fact that the guy playing the drum was in the back. And he didn't have to, like, push any buttons or anything. So I, saw, I was like, oh, that sounds good. <laughs> and that, that was it. That's amazing. And then, I, yeah, like, it was literally the most thoughtless thing I've ever done in my life. Oh, hit stuff? <laughs> wow, that guy was in the back. No one's paying attention to him. That sounds perfect. Yes. Let's oh, do it. That's great. And I thought it looked easy. Um, so, and then um, then I remember t- telling my parents about it, you know, because I was just a kid. You know, I was like, I want to play the drums. And my mom's like, well, are you, are, are you sure? Maybe you want to play the, the trumpet? And I'm like, no, I want to play the drums. <laughs> <laughs> I want to so, bang a gong. <laughs> yes. No, but I've... I can't remember a time that I've not been proud to... I mean, I can think of times that I've been part of projects that I wasn't, like, super like super invested in, that I was just kind of there because it was maybe a paycheck or maybe it was just, like, I'm doing a favor for somebody. I don't know, something like that, because I did so many little... Because I went to college. I went to Shepherd uh, for music. And so when you're a music major, you, and I was one of those, I just wanted to do everything. You know, I was, I was jumping into all kinds of ensembles. And, like, I would play for people's senior recitals, like if they had a jazz thing and they needed a drummer for it, I'd volunteer for that. Or if they were a composition guy and they wrote some crazy weird like avant-garde piece for like a little ensemble that involves a xylophone, and I, you know, so I play for that. You know, just anything. <laughs> jazz band, wind ensemble, marching band, drum corps, all kinds of things. But the least proud, there was I was in the percussion ensemble this one semester. And we played the worst concert I've ever been involved in. It was horrible. And actually, and I know that it's objective because my professor at the time actually said this is probably the worst thing I've ever been a part of. <laughs> <laughs> it, was just, <laughs> it was the spring That's semester amazing. of my freshman year. And uh, it wasn't the percussion ensemble in general. It was just this one concert was just so bad. We weren't prepared for it. We played badly. We performed badly. There was, like, not many people in the audience. There was, like, 20 or 30 people maybe. Oh, it's always so, the worst. Oh, dude, it is the worst. So we finish up, and what makes it worse is that I was in more of the pieces than anybody else. Like, I spent the mo- highest percentage of time on stage. And so it just happened that I was on the stage the most. It was the worst concert by by the word of someone that I, like, really admired and was learning from and, you know, was also, like, giving me a grade for stuff. <laughs> and so then. funny. That's so funny, dude. No. Yeah. Here's what makes it worse. Here's what makes it so much worse. We finished up, and you know, when you finish that kind of thing, there's like, it's like there's this whole um, way you have to do a concert when you're in, in an environment like that. Like when you do a classical, if, if you're listening to like an orchestra or something, you don't clap between movements, and then, you know, at the end of it, you're probably going to stand up. Like, it, like, I don't know why it just seems to happen at all of the decent concerts. Mm-hmm. It's not even like that great of a concert, but some like one person stands up, and everyone else is like, "Oh yeah, I gotta stand up now." So it, this happened at this concert, and it was horrible. It's like you know, it's kind of like if you you're walking down the sidewalk How? and like a pile How of, could it of have shit gone on this the... poorly, like right. It's like uh, there's a pile of shit on the sidewalk. And you slip on this shit, you land in this shit, you're sitting there in shit, and then someone over there starts clapping and saying, man, that was great looking. And it convinces you to pick the shit up and put it in your pocket and take it the fuck home. (laughs) (laughs) That's that's how deep that went. (laughs) Yeah, it's deep enough for my pocket, I guess. Um, But, like, yeah, so, so we finish up, we go out to, like, take our bows, you have to bend over long enough to say, did I tie my shoes? Yes, I tied my shoes. <laughs> and and we do that, and, like, they're clapping because they're obligated to, even though it's terrible. As is. Yeah. And then one, this one cheeky bastard stood up. I'm like, I hate your guts, sir. I don't like you. You're such a douche. So he stood up, and everyone else stands up, and I'm just like, 
like sitting there basking in embarrassment as they That's applaud hilarious. us for our That's utter hilarious. failure. But the good news like, is you didn't oh. write it, but you but did you did you perform well? Did you perform the piece as well? Did I? Yeah. No. It's <laughs> way funnier. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was not good. None of it was like, good. I was like, the only thing you can make better is if you did well, man. And you're like, nope. <laughs> not a no. fucking chance. Hope I did poorly too. <laughs> oh, Chris, 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 Chris.